a new paper coming out four days ago, has raised many eyebrows to the potential of cooling on planet Earth as opposed to warming. Now we're talking about the shutdown of the AMOC, the upper section that flows on the surface of the Atlantic Ocean we know of as the Gulf Stream. Now the paper in question you're looking at was published in Nature Climate Change on the 5th of August of this year, just four days ago. Observation-based early warning signals for a collapse of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research picked it up immediately and published this. Major Atlantic Ocean current system might be approaching a critical threshold. And that current system, which we know as the AMOC, most laymen out there know it as the Gulf Stream, which brings warm water from the tropics up north towards New England, may be about to shut down. It has nothing to do with you, has nothing to do with global warming, and it has everything to do with the Beaufort Gyre. Now, most people have never heard of the Beaufort Gyre. In fact, it's a massive wind-driven current in the Arctic Ocean that actually has far more influence over the sea ice than anything humans can throw into the atmosphere. The Beaufort Gyre has been regulating climate and sea ice formation for millennia. Recently, however, something has changed. It is not something that would create global warming, but in fact threatens a new ice age. Now, there's a normal cycle that appears to be about 5.4 years where the Beaufort Gyre reverses direction and spins counterclockwise expelling ice and fresh water into the eastern Arctic Ocean and into the North Atlantic. Now, the 5.4-year cycle is interesting for its two pi cycle intervals of 8.6. The intermediate cycle has suddenly expanded to two 8.6-year intervals, bringing it to 17.2 years as we head into 2022. Could that be the year of the release? Now, what you must understand is that the Beaufort Gyre now holds as much fresh water as all of the Great Lakes combined, and it's currently in the Arctic Ocean. Now, why is this important? Well, hello. Salt water freezes at a lower temperature than 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, that's where fresh water freezes. The difference between the air temperature and the freezing point of salt water is bigger than the difference between air temperature and the freezing point of fresh water in this region. So that's bad news. This makes the ice with salt on it melt faster, which is why we use salt on the roads in ice storms. Now think of the Beaufort Gyre as a carousel of ice and fresh water because it's now spinning both faster and in its unusual clockwise direction. It has been collecting more and more fresh water from three main sources. Record melting sea ice, record runoff from the Arctic Ocean, from record snows, including from Russia and North American rivers, and lower salt water coming from the Bering Sea. Now, many of you that follow this channel and many other channels like it indeed know that Yale has warned that this current could cool the climate in Europe as early as 2017, which is precisely what we are now witnessing. Cyclically, the Beaufort Gyre will reverse direction, and when it does, the clear and present danger will be the natural expulsion of a massive amount of icy fresh water into the North Atlantic through the transpolar drift. Remember now, fresh water freezes faster than salt water. <laughs> this is not a theory, folks. We have previous records of reversals in this cycle of the Beaufort Gyre from the 1960s and the 1970s, where there was a huge surge of fresh Arctic water released into the North Atlantic that resulted in the water freezing. There's been a lot of work done on the subject. 
And if you know what happened in the 60s and the 70s, that was the Ice Age scare because it was cold. And what you're looking at here is the current modeling of the freshwater content in the Arctic Ocean near the Beaufort Gyre. It is extremely fresh and building. And it's gigantic. It goes from basically Greenland all the way to Alaska, which is quite a large area. And quite scary. Now, there's been a lot of work done on this subject, which of course is ignored by the climate change agenda that only seeks to blame you and I for rising temperatures, which they, they aren't. It's within natural climate variability. Nevertheless, the AAAS states plainly that the Arctic sea ice affects climate on seasonal to decadal timescales, and models suggest that sea ice is essential for longer anomalies such as the Little Ice Age. So what they're saying is that it's the sea ice that controls climate in the Northern Hemisphere, which we also agree with. Now, because of the extended 17.2 year cycle of this particular Beaufort gyre that is extremely fresh and sitting there that you're looking at, the risk that a larger than normal expulsion of fresh water into the Atlantic that can disrupt the Gulf Stream, which is the sole reason why Europe has been moderate in climate for decades, but that has not always been the case. We know that the barbarians' invasions into Rome during the 3rd century were primarily driven by a colder climate in the north. The invasions of the Sea Peoples ended the Bronze Age, and those from the north migrated to the south, storming Mesopotamia and northern Africa because of failing crops. Now, all this proves to you and I is that climate change is real, but it's natural, episodic, and periodic, and has forcing mechanisms that have nothing to do with you and I or CO2. Perhaps we are now at the tipping point. And they cannot keep saying that extremely cold winters is also caused by CO2 and global warming. Perhaps that's the, the problem. The collapse of the Gulf Stream would be another problem and also has nothing to do with CO2. And if, in fact, the Beaufort Gyre is released, well, this information alone could result in a major confrontation that the mainstream media and the mainstream paid off scientists have been seriously wrong. And we're talking about the IPCC and we're about to stick our foot up there tomorrow in the next podcast because these people have been wrong since the 1970s. All their fear mongering and scare tactics repeated and regurgitated. None of it's come true. Everything we've said for half a decade is on point. Now, what these charlatans are doing to the economy in trying to shut down fossil fuels at this point in time could result in tens of millions of deaths if the Gulf Stream were to collapse. And the last time that happened, it got very cold in Europe. Hope you got something out of the video. Be careful of who you listen to. Do your own research. All the papers I've shared tonight are linked below, including the one just released four days ago. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description box and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks to all our one-time donors, our Patreons, the heroes that share these videos, and the listeners. We love each and every one of you. And that is a boom to knowledge. Click on one of the other boxes to gain more speed, and we will see you soon on the other channel.